Outlander has been a huge success thanks to its gripping storytelling and powerful characters. It has something for everyone, and fans can't get enough of the show. This is why it's so much fun to take a peek behind the scenes and get to know the cast a little as well. Let's take a look at the biggest epic fails from the Outlander cast. First up, we have Katrina, who looked like she was about to take flight in this blooper. In the episode Heaven and Earth of Season 3, the crew of the Porpoise is having a nice day. Claire saved everyone from the epidemic that was raging on board, and things are looking good again. In this particular scene, we see Claire coming up the stairs to come up on deck while the sailors are singing a nice sea shanty. But what you don't see in the final scene is that during one of the takes, Katrina Balfe's skirts somehow catch the wind and make it balloon up so much it almost looks like she'll take flight. Balf tries to play it cool, smoothing the fabric back down, but it's too late. The rest of the cast saw, and the singing quickly dies away. A few brave sailors try to pick the song back up again, but it's no use. With a sheepish grin, Balf states that she's the song killer, which gets her a nice laugh from the cast and crew. Or Katrina. She was doing her best. Next, Sam Hewen knows what he's doing. Don't you worry. Outlander is much more than fighting and historical threats. It's a delicious drama that has more more than enough spicy scenes. Especially the steamy connection between Claire and Jamie is something to marvel over. Maybe that's because Sam Hewen and Katrina Balfe have amazing chemistry in real life as well, and have had it since the very beginning. Remember Claire and Jamie on their wedding night, when they are intimate for the first time? The scene looks smooth, effortless, and sensual, but it took some work to make it look like that, not to mention a whole crew looking in on the intimate moment. In this reel, it's when Claire and Jamie are standing very close, when you can hear a voice probably the director, say breast, guiding Hewan on where to touch Balf. To which Hewan replies, I got it, don't you worry, making Balf giggle. Yep, they were made for each other. And now Katrina Balf used Bill Patterson's real name by mistake. Being on set seems like a very glamorous thing, but in reality, it usually means very long days. Spending so much time together with your co-stars can lead to some awkward situations, when the lines between fiction and actor become a bit fuzzy. For example, in one of the season one outtakes, Claire is in a panic when she calls out Ned Gowan's name, except Katrina was a bit confused in one of the takes and says the actor's real name, Bill, instead. There's really no coming down from one like that, no matter how good of an actress you are. Belf and the background actors begin the laugh within seconds, as Bill Patterson turns to the camera with a smile on his face and says, Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Bill Patterson. This is the Bill Patterson Show. Happens to the best of us, Katrina. Next up. Well, that took a turn. Billy Boyd. In season and four, Brianna, who's played by Sophie Skelton, is having dinner with her Aunt Jocasta Cameron, portrayed by the beautiful Maria Doyle Kennedy, and guests. Among those are Lieutenant Wolf and Gerald Forbes, played by Lee Boardman and Billy Boyd, who are there at the invitation of Jocasta, who hopes to find Brianna a new husband. At some point, Brianna feels a bit unwell and moves to leave the room, but is stopped by Forbes, who hopes to win her favor. There's an outtake of this scene where the whole vibe took a rather sudden turn, but not one that ended up in the show. Boyd is supposed to ask Skelton if she wants to know who his forest companion was. What comes out instead is a little bit more suggestive. The camera is focused on Boardman. We can clearly hear Boyd say in the background, I'm eager to tell you about my forest. What? At which point Boardman, chuckling, steps in and uses the cut sign to stop Boyd from telling Skelton about his forest. Wrong kind of show, Boyd. Following, Sam Hewen was into it a little bit too much. In Outlander 2, we see Jamie try trying to process what Captain Black Jack Randall did to him, as the Frasers find their way to become a respected presence at the French court, in hopes of changing Bonnie Prince Charlie's mind, and with it the course of history. But the months of abuse by Randall has left poor Jamie with scars deeper than skin. In episode 2, not in Scotland anymore, Jamie has a nightmare in which he sees Randall in his bed instead of Claire, and proceeds to violently stab what he thinks is Black Jack Randall. An intense moment, and Sam Hewen went all in for it. In one of the bloopers, he's in the middle of his vigorous stabbing when he suddenly stops cold. With an apologetic look on his face, he holds up the prop knife bent in half. See, that's the reason why that scene gives you goosebumps. Hewen was completely in the moment, and it shows. Don't go anywhere. There are so many more reels of the Outlander cast, and you don't want to miss out. Do you know what's the worst thing about working with horses? What song title has Duncan Lacroix tongue-tied? And things got a bit too spicy with the snake. Next up, in this video. So let's start with how this snake got a bit too familiar with Katrina Balfe. It's season three, baby, and Claire has somehow gotten herself washed up on a seemingly deserted island. 
she's jumped off board the Porpoise in a desperate attempt to find Jamie. Captain Leonard knows that there is a warrant out for Jamie's arrest, and he's planning on turning him in. It's on this island that Claire wakes up to find a snake slowly making its way across her body. On set, Katrina doesn't seem to be too bothered by her reptilian friend and co-star for the day. That is, until the snake decides he wants to be more than just friends. Katrina squeals and lets the crew know that the snake is making its way into her skirts. Of course, the actress was never in danger or anything, but it must have been a tad uncomfortable anyway. Next, Grand McTavish's horse couldn't help himself. As fun as animals and children can be, as an addition to a story, sometimes they can be a little unpredictable. In Outlander, there are lots of children and animals, so there are bound to be some uncomfortable moments involving them. Just like in shooting for the episode Preston Pants, Season 2, Dougal has been sent out to inspect a soggy marsh between the camps of the Highlanders and the British, a test of loyalty because the field is within shooting range of the enemy, the camp of the English. But off Dougal goes, into the open field, and a bullet punches a hole through his hat. In the outtake, Grand McTavish dismounts his horse so he can have a better look at the damage to his hat. It's at this point that his horse decides it's the perfect moment to relieve himself. McTavish, brave in fiction and in real life, manages to push through the scene. How unfortunate. And now, Sam Hewen jokes about a favorite Jamaican pastime. Outlander outgrew its Scottish roots long ago, and in season three, Claire and Jamie need to save young Ian, played by John Bell. He's been kidnapped by pirates and taken to Gellis, who's portrayed by Lotte Verbe, which is how we found ourselves in Jamaica, where Gellis has settled down and has big plans to change the future. Jamaica is known for many wonderful things like good food, an amazing tropical climate, and great music. But other people may be more familiar with the island country because of the stereotype of it being a hotspot for cannabis culture. In one of the scenes, Sam Hewen felt inspired to go off script and make a not-so-subtle reference to said cannabis culture, a friendly nod to an amazing country that was home to lots of unforgettable moments in Outlander. And lastly, Duncan Lacroix doesn't know what to do with this song title. You know your onset family has become your real family when there are jokes that only you understand. Jokes you could whip out years later, and they will still have you doubled over with laughter. This is one of those moments that show just how close the Outlander cast really is. When Jamie is being held by the Redcoats in Season 1, Claire and Murta, portrayed by the wonderful Duncan Lacroix, need to find a way to get him back. But as it turns out, Murta isn't such a dancer. But Claire saves the day by suggesting to sing a tune, one like the 1940s classic by the Andrews sisters, Boogie Woogie Bugle Boy. After the rising of 1745, Murta gets separated from Jamie. Twenty years have passed by the time they find their way back to each other. Claire, overcome by the moment, utters his name, to which Murta, Lacroix, replies, well, it's not the Boogie Woogie Bugle Boy. The two hug and laugh it out before they move on to try again. That was it. All the amazing epic moments and bloopers from the Outlander cast. Which one is your favorite? Let us know in the comments. Thanks for watching.